What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto and we are talking about Dogecoin today. This one comes to us at the request of Mr. I Cigar. Mr. Cigar, we are doing this one for you, my man. Um, you were talking about seeing the more immediate term stuff. Um, and yes, as you were saying, my man, um, it's probably... <clears throat> It probably is uh, just more of the same, you know, more of the same expectations. Looking at it here on a month to month, I do, I very much do expect that we are in a bit of a like consolidation range down here at the bottom. We had our dump off. We've been consolidating now. It looks like a descending triangle to me. Descending triangles are inherently bearish patterns, but there is still a large percentage chance that we could go here. It's just there's a larger percentage chance that we'll go down. They are, again, inherently bearish. Um, descending triangles which this appears to be in my eyes, right? You can see it here, right? The, the little triangle right there. If, I, if this green bar was the straight line up, you got a little triangle right here. They are inherently reversal patterns. If you find them at the top or if you find them at the bottom, then they become continuation patterns, right? That's just a um, more words saying that likely it will go down. And if we look at this on the monthly, I know you said the more short-term stuff, but I, 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 I got to process, I got to work through it. We're below the 50 on the monthly, um, suggesting that we are kind of, you know, at a weaker point. The monthly RSI is a bit tricky sometimes, though, but you do have lower lows and lower highs. I would think that you go down. That's just my opinion. Looking at the weekly here, week to week, very neutral looking RSI with a, uh, a bearish tilt to it. Definitely looks like it wants to come down here at some point, but it might not happen immediately. Again, Doge can remain boring. I mean, man, I forget... I forget what my last video was, but I mean, I used to talk about this thing, like, let's see, January, February, March, like, I, I made a lot of videos about it from, like, here to, like, like throughout, like, this whole range, and my, I think my, my genuine, general, sorry, I can't talk, my general opinion was that it would go down, but likely we would move sideways, we would crawl at some point, you know, continue, f like, forming this base, making lower highs until we get to a breaking point, and then inevitably we will go down, um, and we still could do that, you know, for the weeks to come, months to come, I think we are at the base. So we could move back up. We could, we're at 6.15 cents right now. We might have a chance at moving up to about like, I don't know, what would that be? Like seven point, like seven and a half to eight cents, somewhere in that range, probably not quite eight cents, seven and a half to like 7.7 .7 cents. Um, we might not though. We really might not. We might go down and that's where the more immediate stuff is going to kind of help us because this weekly RSI isn't really of much help. It's you're in the bearish area of control, but overall it's been neutral. You haven't really given me an indication yet that you're ready to go down um, lower. You could, but <clears throat> you might just be doing more of the same or you're kind of wish-washing. You know, you could do that for more months. It doesn't have to happen now. You don't have to break out now. There's no volume here. We are on the Binance Exchange BT, or sorry, Doge USDT. Um, the USDT pairing is the most traded volume pair in all of crypto for Dogecoin on Binance. And the way that we have this volume decreasing would indicate to me that we are coming to the end of this little consolidation phase that we have here, right? We're coming to the end of it, but we could still have another like movement up or something where that promotes um, another spike in volume that's just smaller than this one, right? Spike here, smaller spike here, smaller spike here. We could get another smaller spike for sure. Um, I hate these things, man. I really hate them. I don't, I don't want them. I don't want them. There we go. Uh, yeah, something that, again, the average volume is the histogram, these little green lines. So when you get the spikes above these, this little like green histogram here, that means it's above average volume. And I take that average based on, what is it? What do I take that average based on? The, every 10 periods. So that's like a 10 week moving average, but on a histogram scale. Instead of having it as, because <clears throat> look, I could have it um, as a line, right? And then that's a moving average for your volume. The same thing as this is a moving average here. But instead of that, I feel like I like, I like the histogram. I really do like the histogram personally, um, because it makes it like more obvious for me. Like I make it a little bit transparent so I can see the volume, but what I want to focus on is the stuff that's like above average to me, all of it's really just noise. And then you get this kind of like wave looking thing. I, you still get it with the line too. I don't know with, with the, with the histogram, I just feel like it looks to me, it looks better than with the line. That's just a personal choice. But we're not talking about personal choices. We're talking about opinions. And my opinion is it is going to go lower. Dogecoin does look like it wants to go lower. We're on the weekly here. Let's look at the daily. Um, volume is decreasing on the daily. Man, you are just shallow, not doing anything. Knowing Doge, knowing it, I very much would expect that we have one more little move up before we go down. Could that move up take us 
directly to this purple line and then reverse? Could it take us above this purple line and then reverse? Sure, either way, I don't know. I would think that it goes up at some point. It might happen today. It might happen in three weeks from now. Um, but before we have this breakdown, I would think that there is gonna be another move. Let's see, probably something on the lines from the current price at about 6.157 cents, 156 now, um, 157 again. From that price, <clears throat> I would think that we make a move that's something about anywhere from Anywhere from about 10% to 20% to maybe even like 25%, 10 to 10% 10 to 25%, but I wouldn't think that we go much higher than that. Um, and I would I would lean closer to that 10 to 20% range. 25% I think is at that upper end there. If we were to look at this fib from top to bottom here and assume that we don't go lower than this low here, we could make a move up to about <clears throat> seven point, <clears throat> man, who, 7.1 cents. Let me see here, 7.13, that's about a 15% move there. I don't know what just happened with my mouse. 16% move there, um, right at this previous area of support, finding resistance on it would make sense to me. Previous area of support back here, previous area of resistance th uh, resistance throughout here, and then come lower. But again, we might not. There's, there's a solid chance that we might not. There's a solid chance that we could be on our way down right now. This chart does kind of remind me of the Bitcoin Cash chart. You did yesterday have a bearish candle that was like engulfed this bearish candle and that candle. It literally like, even on a closing basis, it engulfed. That's the lowest closing period you've had. It almost engulfed this candle. You engulfed like your last week's of price action with yesterday. So that could be a signal that something more bearish is coming. It might not. The, the daily RSI, to be completely fair, doesn't look half bad. It is in a bearish posturing. You are maintaining below the 50, but as long as you're holding these higher lows and you, you treat this 50 line like it's kind of like a, a glass ceiling, the more you hit it, the more that glass is going to crack and you're going to break through it to the upside. But again, I don't think that breakthrough is going to be too dramatic. I would love to make 10 to 15 to 25 percent on, on anything. I would, you know, I'd love to, but but for Dogecoin, that's not really too dramatic at all, right? Um, I mean, this thing moves 10 percent in a day sometimes, let alone throughout the whole move. So, so seeing it go to this purple line, a little bit above this purple line, would would not surprise me. If I had to bet, man. The, the technical analyst in me, if I had to bet, I would say that that's not going to happen. I would say that it probably does go lower before it goes higher. You're not going to break this high before you break this. Like you're going to break this, this low and this low before you break this high. But the person, the Dogecoin investor, I'm not talking about the Hopius, the Hopium. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about from experience with Dogecoin being in this thing for, I mean, I, I don't own it now, but I've been, I've been involved with it. You know, I check in on it for... Uh, at least a couple years now. It would technically be going on three years actually. Going on three years now, I know that moves like this can happen. A, a move like this can happen. A move like this can happen right before we decide to go down lower, right? Like like here you are moving moving down and you're, ultimately you are moving lower, but you had your move up here. You had your move up right there. You know, you had these little like moves up and they, they seem insignificant at the time, but let's just, let's measure it like this one right here. You had a bounce that was 57% in a week, in a week. So, so is a 25% pump before we go lower? Is that crazy? Is that going to break the system? No, absolutely not. So the technical analyst in me wants to say that this would go lower first. It would go lower first. But the experienced Dogecoin uh, investor in me says that this thing definitely could pop form another lower high and then go lower. You know, we might not be at that point of breaking it. Looking at the daily, again, the RSI really doesn't look too bad. Um, I guess to make it look better, see the thing is with the price though, looking at this price here, you are finding resistance in the middle of this overall range, which you used to find support on. Now you're finding resistance and you're having a bearish engulfing candle. That would hint it more to the bearish side, but Dogecoin's very unpredictable, man. Looking at it on the four hour, um, four hour RSI looks neutral. I would say that it would want to come down to the oversold zone, but maybe from there you get a bounce back up. Like maybe it takes this low out, but it doesn't take this low out. I, I, I don't know. Um, neutral with a bearish tilt. You are hugging this purple line, right? You've been, you've been kind of disrespecting it throughout this whole time. I would personally expect that you do get above it, um, which would mean that you take out this high here, but I don't think you would take out this high here. Um, and that's below seven cents though. But Doge, Doge can do anything, man. So, I mean, maybe... Maybe you do make a move like that. Maybe you make a move that's only like this. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I would think if I had to give it like my absolute best guess, 
I would think that there is one last 10 to 20% move up before going lower. And that's from experience that's outside of like the TA realm. That's just like from like what I feel personally if I had to bet money on this thing. And I'm a betting man. If I had to bet money on this thing, I would think there is one more move up. When does it happen? I don't know. The RSI is very neutral right now. Like there's nothing too strong going on. The one hour and the four hour, I you know, the one hour looks a little bit more constructive than the four hour. There's a little bit more to go off of. Oh, but you're at, you're at a point, man. I don't know. You're at a point where if you go much lower, like if you get below six cents, if you start having days that close below six cents, um, which would be down here, yeah. If you have if you have days that close below this low here, I would think that that idea of a, a last pump before you break this flat base here, I think that goes out the window. I really do. But I don't know, man. Let's 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 just give me a second here. Let me let me go over this real real quick. Um, and put a line like right there. Oh, that's all I got for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good day.